Basil Rasloff and the Dark Animus Tree. Conclusion. They were at breakfast in Wayne Manor. Animal was eating eggs and bacon and tomato fried up, and so was Damien Wayne, Bruce Wayne's son, Robin. Damien turned to Anima. Knock, knock. Who's there, said Anima, Courtney Mason. You're a brain job moron. <laughs> Anima grinned. Another one of Damien's lame knock-knock jokes. <laughs> she looked at Bruce Wayne, who was sitting there reading the paper, sipping on orange juice. That Basil Rasloff, he's starting to tick me off. This is twice that he's had a go at me. I wish I could teach him a lesson. Bruce looked at her for a moment, thought about that, and continued on with his reading the newspaper. Later on that afternoon, after Bruce had returned from work at Wayne Industries, they were watching the TV and Anima Courtney Mason was channel surfing. Bruce was just watching lightly, his mind on other things. Then one of those advertising channels came on with one of those steam steam mops. And Anima was about to change the channel and Bruce said, stop for a second. He looked at the steam mop for a moment and he got an idea. What is it? said Courtney. Just an idea, said Bruce. That evening, Bruce got together a steam steamer. He constructed a steamer down in, in the back cave. And then he got water, a big bottle of water. And he went off the following day to the local Catholic priest. Father, he said at the presbytery, I'm not really a Catholic, I'm Episcopalian actually, but uh, Catholics are pretty strong on holy water. I have this water, and if, if you don't object, I would, wouldn't mind if you could give it a blessing. The priest nodded, that's fine, Mr. Wayne, and blessed the water. Bruce went off and uh, went to a, a local Anglican Episcopalian Reverend, who thought it was an unusual idea, but didn't mind it. And just to just to be safe and sure about it, he tried a Pentecostal preacher who grinned and said it wasn't quite their thing, but if he was to offer a small donation, he could see to it to sanctify the H2O. And Bruce forked over a few hundred dollars. That night, Bruce was in his Batman outfit and says, come on, Courtney. We're going off to teach somebody a lesson. Right, said Courtney. The Batmobile sped through Gotham and they arrived at Basil Rasloff's house. Courtney turned to Batman. How did you know that Basil lived here? And she, says, she looked at him for a second and said, Don't worry, I know. You're Batman. Batman just glared at her. They got out of the Batmobile and... Batman put on the stereo which he bought with him and started playing the song at a loud volume, Come Out and Play by The Offspring. It was quite noisy, and Batman yelled out, Razloff, come out and play. Basil's head soon appeared and he came outside. Batman and Anima, why do you two want to disturb my sleep? Hmm. Looking for a bit more fun, are we? Dark Animus, are you there? The Dark Animus appeared. Animus, are you there? said Courtney. The Animus appeared. Basil said, teach them a lesson. The Dark Animus and the Animus started fighting and spouting around energy. Animus sort of glared at Basil Razloff. And he just sniggered madly. I should thump you, she says. Batman said, leave him alone. We'll teach him a lesson. The animuses were fighting heatedly. And then Batman got the steamer ready. It had been filled with holy water. Lock and load, he said. And started spraying the steam up towards the dark animus. Ugh, what's that? Said the dark animus. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that's painful. 
whereas the animus was going, that's, that's, that's tingly. That's a tingly sensation. Hmm. I'm out of here. It's holy water. I don't like that stuff, said the dark animus. See you later, Basil Razloff. And he disappeared. Hmm. Basil glared at Batman. You got me this time, Batman. That'll teach you, Mr. Razloff. Bruce Wayne doesn't like trespassers. Next time, it'll be hell to pay. Yeah, said Basil Razloff. He learned his lesson.